Hello everyone, we are here in the seventh chapter of Breaking the Myth, and today I'm with a very nice friend and colleague, his name is Mario, and I'll just let him introduce himself. Yes, yeah, so, um, as Moises said, my name is Mario, um, I was born in the UK, uh, grew up in the Middle East, but my parents are both um, Greek Cypriot. Um, I'm currently doing my MBA at Holt here in Dubai, and I'm 29 years old. And he's going to tell us about Cyprus which in Spanish, I don't know if you know it, it's Chipre, the Republic, La Republica de Chipre, and we would like to talk about this country because at least from my perception, nobody knows uh, a lot about it, and Mari is going to give us a very nice uh, approach of what, uh, like, where it is, what is it, uh, like the main things about, about Cyprus, okay? So, Mario, uh, why don't you tell us, like, what is the language you speak in Cyprus? So, the main language that's spoken in Cyprus is Greek, um, it's, uh, it, it's, a, it's a dialect of Greek, um, and uh, that's in the southern part of the island, so Cyprus is split north and south. Um, the southern part speak mainly Greek, and then the northern part will mainly speak Turkish. And for example, about Cyprus, is Cyprus or Cyprus? Cyprus. Cyprus. Yeah, okay. Cyprus. About Cyprus, I know, I know it's, it belongs to the European Union, right? That's correct. But yes. it's, it's not very close to it, right? Uh, it's not, no. So Cyprus is just south of, south of Turkey. So it's an island in the Mediterranean, south of Turkey, west of Lebanon, north of, um, of, of Egypt. Um, the southern part of Cyprus, so essentially the Greek part of Cyprus, is part of the European Union, yes. And the other part, is it uh, from... The other part is part of Turkey, um, which is not currently part of the <coughs> European Union. Um, so they have their own separate government, and then the South Primary Island, the Greek part, has its own separate government as well. Okay, is it a democracy? Uh, it is, yes. It is. The, the, so the southern part is, is, is kind of run um, independently, um, and then the northern part is kind of run by the Turkish government. They have their own, supposed smaller government, but they run mainly by the Turkish government. Okay, so uh, tell us, I, I know it's an island, and I think it's the, it's the third one, uh, like the third biggest one in the region, right? Yeah. What do you eat there? What's your favorite food? Um, so there's a mix of foods, and a big part of it is, is very similar to the Greek cuisine. Um, it's also a mix of the Lebanese um, cuisine as well, so because we border kind of, um, um, let's say, three continents, so we border Africa, so Africa's to the south, Asia's to the east, and Europe is to the north and to the west. Um, it's a real mix of different cuisines, but very similar to what, um, what, what you would see in a Greek uh, restaurant, for example. Amazing. You have a lot of influence from different cultures, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How about the tourism? Like, is there a lot of tourism from different cultures? Or yeah, different? definitely. So, um, because of the, um, especially kind of pre-European Union, there was a lot of people coming to Cyprus. It was a great place for, um, let's say, younger adults to go to. Hmm. Um, Ayanap is a real attraction, especially to European tourists. Um, but there's a lot of people, as you have in Spain um, and in other parts of Port Portugal, for example, who the, the older generations rather they go to these sorts of places to retire, and Cyprus is another one of those places. Uh, another question, Mario. What do people ask you the most when you tell them, I come from, from Cyprus? Yeah. Um, the, the first thing they ask me is, are you from the north or from the south? Okay. Um, and um, yeah, essentially, am I, am, am I Turkish Cypriot or am I, or, or, or am I Greek Cypriot? Um, the answer to that is obviously I'm. And Greek Cypriot, it comes from my name, Mario, or, or Marios, which is how it's pronounced in Greek. Do you speak the same language in both, in both parts of Cyprus? Uh, Cyprus? No, so the north will generally speak Turkish, mm, okay. and then in the south it'll generally be Greek. However, um, a lot of people in the south, especially the older generations, do speak Turkish, and then in, in the north the older generations also do speak Greek, because there's, um, before Cyprus was divided, there was a lot of kind of interaction between you know, families, they got married to each other, so yeah. the cultures are very, very close. There is no problem regarding uh, marriages between one side of the country with the other, right? Um, there's, no, there's no problems per se, but especially, well, the south is, is, is Orthodox, um, so Christian Orthodox, and the northern part, um, which is, again, the Turkish part, are, are, are Muslims. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of, uh, th th there have been a lot of marriages in between um, the two. Um, it's not very common, but it does happen. Okay, is there any myth you would like to break about Cyprus? Yeah, I think um, uh, apart, from it, apart from it being split, um, I think, uh, which is kind of one of the main things that everyone always kind of talking about regarding Cyprus and where you've been, because you can go to the north and you can go to the south. I think um, apart from that, it's just, it's just a great place. We've got really, really nice beaches, um, really good food. 
Um, and it's a really, really nice, relaxing holiday, whether you go north or whether you go kind of south, or you can, you can go between the two if you wish. Um, there is a red line controlled by the UN. Oh, really? Yes, there is. Okay. They split the two, but you can go north, you can go south. Um, so you kind of have that freedom of movement. But although there is that red line, it's just like, a, I'd say it's more of a, of a political red line rather than a physical yeah. border or barrier between the two. Can you see, for example, in, in, in the map of, of Cyprus, like where's the division to every part of it? Yeah, so I mean, and if you look at a, a map, you probably won't see that, but essentially it's, it's the top half. Okay. Uh, I think it's somewhere around 40%. I'm not exactly sure the figures, but it, it's, it's, it's about the top half. And it's, it's funny because you have, you have a, a street in the capital city, which is Nicosia, and you will have um, an apartment block here, or a, a block of houses here, and a block of houses kind of in front of it. And that middle, and the, the pathway in the middle between the two will be the dividing line really? between, yeah, between north and south. Yeah. Very interesting. It is, it is. <laughs> and what is the most proud you are about your country? Um, the most proud I'm of our country, I think um, for, a, for a small country, we really punch kind of um, above our weight. We have a, we have a great tourist industry, um, great food. Everyone speaks very positively about Cyprus when they go there. The people as well, um, really friendly. Um, and the thing I, I, I like the most is that we, we, we combine a lot of cultures. As I, as I kind of grew up in the Middle East, um, <clears throat> through Greek parents, our, our culture, um, and the way that we, we do things, um, and the way we kind of respect our parents, respect other individuals, um, the, the, the outlook on kind of life as well, it's very similar um, to the way that the Arab world is. Um, so the, w what I'm really proud about is that I, I love the Middle East, and this is where I grew up, and I'm, I'm happy to say I'm from a country that people kind of respect, really like, and, and have an that. Um, so culturally you didn't have that much of a shock when you came no, to LA, right? No, no, and even kind of from the way that, that we look, a lot of people consider me looking Arab, um, and that again is because of just how the country is, where the country is kind of geographically located in between kind of Europe, um, Africa and, and, and Asia, the, the, the Middle East if you like. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's a fantastic place and I, I recommend it to everyone. Well, thank you very much, Marit. No Anything you would like to add? No, that's it. I, I think um, if, if anyone's got questions on Cyprus, just please come to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, but uh, the, rep, the websites are full of positive reviews. Um, so yeah, if you ever plan to go to Cyprus, uh, enjoy it and, and uh, take some pictures. Thank you. See you later, guys. See ya.